Okay, right, well, this is it, boys. We're, uh, we're finally going to do the quiz that we've been talking about doing for about two months. Wow, do we still have time for that? We, we do have time <laughs> for that. We definitely have time for that. All right, so uh, if, if you don't want to listen to the quiz, well, see you later. But uh, we're going to do that. And I'm going to quickly now, I'm going to quickly now go over the rules. Um, now, I've talked to you about the rules already, but I want to just do that for everybody's benefit that's listening. So we've got six topics here, right? And we've got a wheel to spin that will decide which topic. So if... Pavel goes first, for example. Let's oh just do it. We'll do it along the couch. So Pavel goes first. I'm stressed out already. Um, we'll spin the wheel for you. You'll get a topic, and then there are three questions on that topic. There's an easy question, a medium question, and a hard question. Now, before I go any further with the rules, yes, I've this, I've written the questions, and I've decided easy, medium, or hard. I decided that uh, based on what I thought was a hard question or an easy question, and how I think you guys would do with it as well. Okay. So that's the sort of decision that I made there. So if you're sitting there screaming, "That's not a bloody hard question," well, it might not be for it's not hard, it might not be for you, but it probably is for you guys. So you're saying, don't blame the questions, blame yourself. Yeah, blame me. Okay. Yeah, blame me. Like that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with people blaming me for stuff because I don't care. There you um, go. So, Pavel, if you go first, there's three questions. There's easy, medium, hard. You decide who gets what question. You have to decide that first before the question. I- you I'm get sweating. your any question, okay? Um, I'm not going to give you as long to answer the question, so there's no humming and hawing, there's no looking at your phones. Okay, it's pub quiz rules, boys. If somebody gets the question wrong and you know that they've got it wrong, you can buzz in because you've all got a buzzer. Oh, that's what the buzzer is for, I was wondering. Yeah, so there's two uses for the buzzer in this, okay? If you buzz in and get that person's question wrong as well, you will lose a point. If you get your own question wrong, you don't lose a point, okay? But if you get somebody else's question wrong, you'll lose a point. Okay. So if you buzz in, don't get it wrong. What's the what's the price? What are we winning? It's uh, glory and honour. Yes! I always wanted that. <laughs> I never so, had any of that. Just to be clear, one point for an easy question, two points for a medium, three for a hard. So if you give somebody a hard question, Pavel, and they get it right, you've just given them a lot of points. I'm so stressed now. <laughs> After we do the six things, there's a quick fire round, and those are all going to be Retro Games Boot Club questions, so you should all know the answers to these questions, okay? Because these are games that we have all played. It's supposed to be our specialist subject. Oh, my God. That's the end of the quiz after that. If there is a tie, there is one tiebreaker question, okay? Does everybody clear on the rules? Yes. Makes sense. Right, now let's hear your buzzers. Pavel, your buzzer goes... Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Dave... Dave's favourite buzzer has made a return. And Ewan. Excellent. Okay. Right, are we ready to start? Totally. Let's do this. <laughs> Not yet, Affirmative. Dave. So here is the wheel, the wheel of destiny. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, oh my god. Right. So Pavel, the, your topic is going to be... Oh god. It's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning. Ooh. Oh, sorry, I should have read out what the topics are before we started. Yeah. So the topics are, uh, they are Final Fantasy, Fallout, Guns, Civilization, and Sega. <laughs> and uh, Nintendo. And Nintendo, Because yes, that's because just what I got. Pavel has got Nintendo. I've never um, even had a Nintendo. That, that was the sixth topic, Nintendo. So, Pavel, all your questions are on Nintendo. Now, specifically, <laughs> these are games... For the original Nintendo Entertainment System. I have never played any of them. Excellent. Okay, so, would you like... Hey, who's going to get easy, medium and hard? I'm getting the hard one because you guys can just stuff yourselves. Ah, oh, gamesmanship already. <laughs> and what, who would you like to take the easy and medium? Uh, I, I, uh, um... Dave's gonna go. Dave's gonna get the easy one, and Ewan's gonna get the medium one. I'm not okay. gonna be able to answer mine either, but at least no so, one's getting my points. We then do them in order. So, Dave, you start. Mm. How many Super Mario Brothers games were released on the NES? Ah, uh, that's an easy question. Three. Three is correct. One point for Dave. Oh my god, I would have not known that. Ewan, medium question. What color was the cartridge of the original release of the first Legend of Zelda game? This is terrible. I'm just going to go with grey. It was... Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot you can buzz in. I'm going to say... Oh my god, I'm going to lose a point because I'm just guessing now. Go for it. Shit, I'm going to say blue. No, you're losing a point, Pavel. Um... <laughs> it was gold. Oh, even Steven is funny. I'm going to end up this quiz with a mi- minus amount of points. I Pavel, knew. your hard question on the Nintendo... The first Mega Man game was released for the NES in 1987, but what was Mega Man's Japanese name? 
I've well, not even answered Dave's already buzzed yet. in, so that's... Oh. Sorry, I'm no, no, just assuming no, Pavel, you have to get, get this it. wrong. I have no idea. Go ahead. No idea. Dave? It's Rockman. It is Rockman. Well done. <laughs> okay. I barely know what Mega Man is. So, just to be clear, on the first round, uh, Dave, you have four points. You and you've got none. And Pavel, you're on minus one. Yes! <laughs> This is going as well as I predicted. Exactly as we planned. Yes. <laughs> right, Dave, you get the next spin. What's it going to be? Spin, spin. Oh, this is the best bit. I'm sweating. It looks like it's going to be Sega. Sega. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the Sega questions are all general questions about the Sega Dreamcast. Oh. Okay, who, uh, who, who? What do you want to give? To? Should this not just be called Shenmue? Oh. <laughs> the, Sh- the Shenmue round. I uh, I will give. Uh, I'll take the easy one. Easy. What? I'll, I'll give you and the medium one. No. Pavel gets the hard. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this should be fun. Uh, okay, Dave, your easy question: How many memory cards can you fit into a standard Dreamcast controller? One. You're wrong. Pavel. Two. Two is correct. Oh so, my god. Can you? Yes. Yes. They nice still work. Uh, medium question for you in. It was really massive controller. The best selling video game for the Dreamcast was the first Sonic the Hedgehog title to feature 3D gameplay. What was this game called? Uh, <laughs> Sonic. Sonic the Sonic. Reloaded. <laughs> it's not Sonic Reloaded. I don't think the beeper Anybody? is going to get out here. Oh, I can't remember. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did consider making this the hard question because I thought you guys might not get it. Okay, like, nobody's getting that. The answer was uh, Sonic Adventure. Oh, I, that. I, was I, too, I was too scared. You were too scared? Oh, you could have stole that. Okay, Pavel, your hard question. According to Wikipedia, to the nearest 100, how many games were released for the Dreamcast? To, to the nearest 100? To said? the nearest 100. I'm going to say 100. Nope. Anybody? Go for it, Ewan. 300. No, sorry, Ewan, you lose a point for that. Boo. Uh, the answer was... The, the exact total was 636, which wow. is a surprising amount. That's, more, wow. More than it. See, part of me wanted to just go with 50. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually surprised. Wow, okay. Okay, so let's carry on. Um, Ewan, this is your spin. All right. That's a good noise as well. I like that noise. Yeah, yeah. What are you going to get? It's looking like it's guns. guns. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that be in a video That's game a, quiz? Right, well. So this, this, uh, oh, fact, no, I'm not going to go into that. Oh, okay. no, you, you get, boom, surprise us. Questions about light guns. Oh, oh. oh easy, like. medium, or hard? Uh, who's getting what? Um, I think I'll take the easy one. Easy. Dave can have the hard one. Pavel can have the medium. Yes. Okay, you and your easy question. In Time Crisis 2, what colours were the jackets of the two playable characters? Oh, they were red and blue. Well done. One point. Yes. Um, the medium question is for Pavel. <clears throat> Hello. What was the name of the light gun released for the Super Nintendo? What was in the controller? The, like, the controller. It looked a bit like a bazooka. Mm-hmm. I, and what was the question again, sorry? What was, what was it called? What was it called? Yes. What was the gun itself called? The Nintendo gun. Nope. Anybody want to buzz in? No, it was the Super Scope. Oh, yeah. I should know this. <laughs> I used that. Dave, your hard question. Name the light gun shooter arcade game <laughs> released in 1990, which <laughs> featured live action video and was set in the Wild West. Set in 1990? Yes. Uh, I'll be not, amazed if anybody it's gets not this. Mad Dog McCree, is it? It is Mad Dog McCree! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that is mad that you got that. <laughs> Can I just say the, the, the this quiz is like... Is it re- fixed? Yes. <laughs> but also, right. production values are so really high. I'm impressed. <laughs> that's us halfway through the Ooh. first uh, the first round. So, will we give a points total? Yes, please. Okay. okay. Uh, after that, Dave, you're on seven. Ewan, you're on a flat zero. A parity. Uh, and Pavel, you're also on a flat zero. Uh, this game, th- this quiz is going slightly different than what I expected. So. <laughs> right. Only slightly, because I'm still not negative fully. If I can stay on zero when Pavel, you, Pavel ends up on a negative, I'm happy. Looks like it's Fallout. Oh, God. 
Oh, this okay. is a chance for you guys to pull back. My B, but my memory is rubbish. Fallout, anyway. General questions about the entire Fallout series. I'm going to go for hard for me and uh, medium for, uh, you, for sorry for Dave and easy for Ewan because I don't want Ewan to score too high. <laughs> <laughs> tactics, a new oh, tactics oh, would come out try and steal. This is why I did this. Um, okay, uh, Ewan, yeah. sorry, your uh, easy question. Okay. In which city is Fallout 3 set? You're gonna have to give me an answer, man. That, n- no, no, nothing. Buzz. Go for it. Is it Vegas? Uh, it's not Vegas, no. What? That's that's no. that's New Vegas. That's New Vegas, Pavel. That's what I said. That's Fallout minus three. Yeah, but Fallout Three. Fallout Three was something oh, else. Oh shit! No, Dave. No. I buzzed. Sorry. Uh, you did buzz. Sorry. It's uh, in Washington DC. It is in Washington DC. Oh so man! One point. Come on, guys, it's got a big needle and everything. I don't remember <laughs> which game that is. Pay attention right. to a lot of that stuff. <laughs> Dave, your medium question. Right. Um, name a potential companion or follower in Fallout New Vegas. That's. I don't know what the add ons added in in this yeah, game. I'm talking about vanilla. I don't I, know if they I'm added in anything. Get like that. That because I don't remember any of them. Unfortunately. Rudy. Rudy? I don't know. The name was just in my head. I thought I'd say it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not on the list. Oh, Dogmeat. Dogmeat's Fallout 3. Yeah, Dogmeat is not in Fallout New Vegas. Dogmeat bloody oh. was in every game, wasn't he? Oh, man. No, the dog in New Vegas was called Rex, I think. Oh, shit. Was he? Yeah, it's Rex, wasn't it? I had him. Well, I had the dog. It sounds about right. Carrying on it, so Pavel, you're getting the hard question. Oh, fantastic, because I'm doing so well with medium and easy. <laughs> this could be interesting. In Fallout 2... The playable character's home village of Arroyo gives him or her a water flask before sending them off on their quest to find the Garden of Eden creation kit. Where did the water flask originally come from? Uh, vault number th- something. Come on. V- vault number something. I don't know. Come Th- on. 13. It is. It is. It's Vault 13. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know what part of my brain remembered that. <laughs> That's well scary. done, Pavel. Well done. Like, if you could like measure the amount of my confidence in answering this question, it would be <laughs> negative. Just, just to point something out there, you only scored one point in that round despite answering the hard question. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm not at zero anymore, and I'm actually not on negative either. Okay, Dave, this is your spin. I don't like either of these. <laughs> Final Fantasy. So, it is questions about, and this will be of no surprise to anybody, Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> oh. uh, I'll give... Right, let's... Pavel can have the easy question. Yeah, you're tactical, I'll man. take the medium one, and Ewan can have the hard question. But, but Ewan's just going to bloody... He's going okay. to get it anyway, so... Mm. I don't know about that. Easy question for Pavel. Oh, if I fail that... Final this... Fantasy VII, what's Vincent's surname? Uh, oh, shit, two seconds. Uh, Vincent... What Vincent? Oh my God, Vincent! Jesus! Uh, it's not Jesus. No, is it? no, sorry, I'm gonna have to move on. So Shit. buzz in, somebody. Dave. Valentine. Valentine's That's it. Oh my God! What a terrible block. It's fine. I was gonna say price. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, my brain hurts now. Okay, the medium question was for Dave. I How believe. did I not answer? Yeah. It? Okay, I want you to name two of the three members of the Turks that Cloud and his party regularly interact and fight with. Oh, this is an amazing question. I, uh, I'm not going to get any of them. Uh, how shameful. Yeah, Pavel's buzzed in. Okay, Pavel, take it. Uh, I'm going to say Rude, and even though I could say that other guy, I'm going to say Elena. Yes, correct. Oh, the other guy was Reno. Yeah, Reno, that was the only one I, I could remember. I was going to say Reno, but why, why, why not say Elena? Everybody always forgets Elena. And the hard question was for Ewan. You ready for this? Okay. I don't know, you might get this. Reading chocobos, or chocobos, whatever you want to pronounce it, Shit. to get green, blue, black and gold versions is the only way to get four specific materia in this game, Oof. not including glitches. Um, I want you to name two of those materia. I didn't say one because I thought one of them was far too easy. In reading the... Breathing the Chocobos is the only way to get four specific materia in Final Fantasy VII. I want you to name two of those materia. That is a difficult question. No. Anybody? I've... Buzz in? I'm not going to bloody uh, buzz in because no, you Dave have to say two. Oh, no, Dave's going to have a random guess. Uh, is one of them the Knights of Odin? 
No. Oh, I can't see a close, close, but no. Yeah, I couldn't quite remember. And you get Bahamut as well. Okay, but... Dave, you're losing a point. You and you get nothing, but you don't lose anything. Um, the four materia are Mime, Quadra Magic, the HPMP material, which swaps your hit oh. points and magic points, and Knights of the Round. Knights yeah. of the Round. I knew, I knew about Knights of the Round, but I just did not know any yeah, of this. I wouldn't have got it anyway. Right, so you have one topic left, Ewan, and it's a topic you might like, and I'm just going to spin the wheel even though it's going to do nothing because there's only one topic it left on it. Fun. It's not made any no- noise. Okay, Civilization. Questions about this, the game series Civilization? Not Easy, so medium, much. and hard. Let's go for it. I think I'll take the medium one. You'll take the medium. I'm going to be a bit ambitious here. I'm going to have the hard one to Dave and the easy one to Pavel. I'll see if I can answer the easy one. Uh, but I've only played one Civilization and it was previous millennium when I did that. Pavel, you have the easy question for Civilization. In all Civilization games that use unique units, what is Japan's unique infantry unit? Samurai! Samurai is correct. That was an easy question, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Too easy. Should have given you that. Uh, the medium was for you, is that right? Yep. Um, in vanilla, Civ 3, name a nation that has both the industrious and militaristic tags. I'll give you a clue, there's only one. Industrious and militaristic. Russia? Not Russia. Oh. I'm, I'm not Buzz anybody? Right over that. Industrious and uh, mi- militaristic. Is it like bloody everybody? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, if you're, you've got a buzz in, go for it. Germany. It's not Germany. Ah, oh, shit. No idea. Just, just buzz in, man. Just, just join the game. Okay, right, just let's just move the on. The, uh, the answer was uh, China. Uh, to be fair, it's pretty much every mili- uh, like big power in the world. And finally, Dave, mm. the last question of this first unnecessary quiz round. Um, in Civilization 2, which technology can I research using both electricity and sanitation, which would then allow me to build a supermarket? I'm going to put my buzzer away. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ele- Wait, electricity and Electricity san- and sanitation. Uh, Which technology comes after that? Electricity and sanitation. No, C- okay. can't, can't even guess. Yeah, go for Refrigeration? It. Refrigeration is correct. Oh, wow. <laughs> well done. I was surprised. No, I thought not. nobody was going to get that, but I thought <laughs> Civ 2 might be Yoon's uh, Possibly field most here. played game. <laughs> <laughs> if I was going to remember the tech tree from anything, it would be Civ 2. Okay, so at the end of round six, the scores. Dave, you didn't actually make much more progress there, so you are now on eight. You and Pavel equal on three. Yes, I'm not the worst. Actually, I am the worst. Just also assuming I've added this up correctly, but (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure I'll I'll go back and edit this and add everything up again and go. Oh no, wait, Pavel won. (laughs) But awkwardly, uh... we now have. The quick fire round. Woo-hoo. So let's get this oh, quickly ju- done. Just to show whether whether you or I should be the worst, yes? I don't want anybody to buzz in until I'm finished asking the question, alright? So no cheating. Okay. Alright, so this is quick fire round. You're just going to buzz in. Um, you will get one point for the question. They are fairly easy questions. My are sweating. Okay. Are we losing points for all answers? No losing break? points in this round. It's all just one point per question, but if nobody gets it, we're just going to move on. It's a quick fire round, okay? Okay. So are we ready? So it's all Retro Games Book Club questions. Mm-hmm. So those games are all Megalomania, uh, NetHack, Dune, and Life and Death. Uh, all questions on those four games. There are 12 questions, so expect three questions per game. Oh, crap. crap! But they're going to go in a random order. So here we go. First up, name any playable character in Megalomania. Ewan? Uh, Caesar. Caesar is correct. Question two. You have spotted a question mark in the dungeon in NetHack. What does it represent? Dave? A scroll. A scroll is correct. Question three. (laughs) Dave's just disappointed in the rest of this. You need to try harder. Question three. What is the flying machine Paul uses to get about in June called? Ornithopter. Ornithopter's correct, Ewan, well done. Ah, that, was, that was a reflex thing there. <laughs> <laughs> in Life and Death, what does the bottle label D contain? Ewan? Diazepam. No. <laughs> but it'd be good if it was. Anybody? No, I forgot. No, I'm going to have to just call that there. Okay, it's dopamine. Oh. Who is the first character you're sent to find in June? I think that was Ewan again. Gurney Halleck. It is Gurney Halleck. Well done, Ewan. Of course it was. 
in life and death, what is the diagnosis if there is pain all over the patient's abdomen? It's a uh, gas, intestinal gas. It's not. Oh, no, no. It's not. You? Is it like kidney stone? No. It's not no. kidney stone. Uh, Farrell. Ah. Farrell. I have no idea. Ah. It's the only other one, just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's it. No, it's infection. Bacterial oh, infection. It's infection. Um, in NetHack, which keyboard combination do you press to engrave? <laughs> engrave? Come on, this, guys. This one is a bit difficult. Come on, lads. <laughs> Just press your button, man. You know this. <laughs> Come on, guess. Yes. We're giving it, we're giving it Come to on. you. Come on. It's like... Just take it, Dave. Take it. Capital E. Shift and E, yes. I'll give you that. Okay. I thought it might be because I, I did that in an attempt to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> in Megalomania, what year does the first epoch begin in? <laughs> Pavel? I was just going to guess that it's going to be minus 10,000. Nope. Man. Is it 800 BC? Nope. You, you want to have a stab at it? You may as well have a guess because you can't lose anything. Alright. Uh, 1000 BC. It's not. Pavel, you were really close. It's 9,500 oh, BC. In June, how do you save the game? Dave. Well, you go and look at your mirror. Yes, you look in the mirror. Well done. <laughs> how many diagnosis stroke patient rooms are there in life and death? Dave. Four. There are four, yep. Yeah. In NetHack, which class or role starts with a pet dog called Slasher? Uh, you, and I think that was you. Uh, rogue? No. Pavel, you buzzed in. Oh, um... Class. Uh, class. Oof. I'm going to say... Jesus, because I played that. I, I had a slasher. What was I? It was a, I was either orc or Something barbarian. Like um, okay, Pavel, answer the question. Uh, I'm going to say... B- 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 barbarian. No, it's uh, a caveman. Oh, that's oh, what I was. That's stuck. exactly what I played. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Last question. Name an element from Megalomania. Go for it. Tedium. Tedium is not on the list. Oh no! Araldite. Araldite is on the list. <laughs> yes, well done. So <laughs> the the elements are all moonlight, planetarium, bethlium, solarium, araldite, herborite, iridium, valium, parasite, aquarium, palladium. I would also have accepted rockwood, bones, and slate. You could go for the fun ones. So. In the quick fire round, Pavel, you scored nothing. Yeah! <laughs> you and you scored four. Oh. Some good effort. Uh, but unfortunately, Dave also scored four. So, the end of the quiz, uh, Pavel, you on three points. You That's and, better than I thought. You and you scored a respectable seven, and oh, Dave so ran away with it with 12. Woohoo! So, everybody give Dave 12 punches. <laughs> Did you not get some sweeties? I'm just going to clap a bit. Yes. I thought you were reaching for some, some dime clap, bars there clap, when clap. you went for them. Well done, boys. Slower, well done. slower. It has to be a slow <laughs> clap. Oh, that was... <laughs> Fanfare. 